Okay, I set the I set the height and I made one pass on top of this. We'll make another one. Just a very light cleanup. And we've completed that one. The joys of a manual milling machine. Cast iron. You gotta love it. Oh yeah. Now this 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 is this is the outcome we expect on all of these. If you can see that seat down in there, it dressed up quite nicely. And the outer face dressed up equally as well. I have already uh, had these in the electrolysis tank, uh, tapped, uh, tapped the threads, retapped. It's good to go. Okay, got about 20 more of them to do. Let's get on with it. Let's recap. The McCormick Deering. This happened to be the one and a half horsepower model, the Type M. They were throttle governor engines. That's not to say that someone has not modified one to a hit and miss. Uh, this this is what we have just finished the project for the evening, and the important the important number here is this one and a half inch depth between the end cover and the seat to maintain the distance for an original spring and the tension on that spring is most highly important when you change the when you this is the solid body uh, this is another example of that solid body. When you change the tension on the spring, on the compensator, it changes the way the engine operates entirely. And this this right here, what we just did, this, this little series right here, this is the reason that you have to run and closed or partly closed choke. It's part of the reason for what you have to do that is because the compensator does not operate if that seat in there is eroded away. And if you, if I could get one that we could see, uh, let's see one that, uh, well, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. But but it's it's one of the most important repairs that you can do to a McCormick Deering M. Uh, it's it's highly important. This happens to be the three we've talked about it before, but that's the three. And I did I did these three 
the uh, the solid body you do them the same way just put them in the fixture and and uh, <laughs> it's a grizzly this happens to be the G one zero zero seven simply because it had the uh, power table on it. It's got that electric motor down there that makes this go back and forth there. But uh, but I, I did this, the point of this right here, It's uh, I've spent a little time on this right here to make a point of how important that this is. This, this, this just, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just not, uh, it's just not good ownership to neglect this repair. The, uh, but uh, uh, and we are going to assemble a carburetor and you know we'll talk about it but uh, not to make this any longer. Just uh, this is an easy repair and if it's something that you cannot do yourself the neighborhood machine shop is is more than capable of doing of this repair right here. Whatever the cost, it will be worth it. Support your neighborhood job shop. From here on the east coast to Arkansas, shop dog Sam. And we're going to get on to something else now.